right. War of the Roses time as we welcome Holly to the show. Hello, Holly. Hello. Who, who are we putting to the test for you today? My husband. Okay. And his name is? Ryan. All right. You guys just had a big anniversary, right? Yeah. Five years. Last month. Wow. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. This is actually not the way I thought I would be celebrating. Well, yeah, of course not. So tell everybody why we're putting Ryan to the test. Okay, so a few weeks ago, he was out with his friends, and um, he and a bunch of his guy friends, like, go to try out new beers and stuff, and so I guess he ran into his ex there. Right. And now this is no ordinary ex, correct? No. She was the girl he dated right before me. In fact, um... She thought he was cheating with me when she dumped him, which he wasn't. We were actually just friends, but she couldn't handle it, so I guess we broke up. That's why we like that's why him and I started dating in the first place. Okay, so she she wasn't necessarily wrong then. Um, I guess not, but we weren't messing around or anything. What is this ex's name? Uh, Christine. Okay, so he runs into Christine at the brewery. What happens next? He left the guys and over an hour catching up with her at the bar, just talking, I guess. And she left. He came back over to the table. And when one of his friends asked who she was, he said, the one that got away. Ouch. Okay. Not what you want to hear your husband say. Nope. Yeah. Holly, where did you hear all this from? Did one of his friends tell you? One of his friends called his wife and me and her are friends, so she told me about it. I guess they thought it was kind of awkward to see a married guy do something like that. Yeah, it, it would be awkward. Like, I'm out with my guy friends, and one of them who's supposed to be married just celebrated his fifth anniversary is talking alone to another chick and then refers to her as the one that got away. Like, I mean, I would be concerned. Well, that's why I emailed you guys. Okay. So what we'll do here is we'll put Ryan to the test. We'll give him the opportunity to send some roses to somebody. We'll see who he picks and what he puts on the card, Okay. Okay. Now, before I call him, I have to make sure you're okay with us putting all of this on the air. Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, we can't we can't do it on... Th- I think so, unfortunately. Legally, we have to hear you say yes. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Darling at random. Hello? Good morning. I'm calling to speak with Ryan Car- please. Yeah, this is him. Morning, Ryan. My name is Tracy, and I'm calling from the Visa Rewards Program. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, how's it going? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So the reason I was calling was to let you know that we started a brand new promotion this year to reward our customers. And every month we draw a bunch of names to win prizes. And this month, you were one of our winners. So congratulations. Uh, are you... Is this real? This is real. I'm being serious. Okay. So what did I win? Well, what we're doing every month is giving away different little prizes as a little token to say thank you. And this month, the prize is flowers. So you won a beautiful bouquet of red roses. And the reason I was calling is because, you know, a lot of the guys who have won this prize didn't really want the flowers. But they asked if we could send them to their wives or girlfriends instead which I am more than happy to do. So did you want us to send the flowers to you or did you want to send them to your wife uh, or girlfriend? Hold on, hold on. Um, what if I don't want flowers at all? I, like, is there a different prize? Actually, no, I'm sorry. We do different prizes every month and this month it's flowers. So that's the only thing I can offer you. Yeah, okay. Uh, it, it, wait, hold on. Is this the whole... You know, the trick that flower thing where somebody's listening on the phone and if I pick the wrong person, is this like <laughs> that? Is, you, this, is this it? Do you mean War of the Roses? Yeah, who's this? Actually, Ryan, that's exactly what this is. <laughs> that's exactly what this is. Well done. Are you serious? Ryan, this is um, the Z Morning Zoo radio show on Z104. How are you? I'm good. Okay. And relieved, too, I guess. Yeah. So, wait, I couldn't fool you at all with my sales pitch? I mean, I, it sounded great, but no, it sounded too good to be true. So, hold on, hold on. Somebody actually had to set me up for this, right? Yes. Do you want to take a guess who? <laughs> it's got to be my wife. Is your wife's name Christine? Is my wife what? Is your wife's name Christine? <laughs> um, no. 
Oh, okay. Because that, that's who asked us to put you to the test. There's somebody named Christine. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, is this all on the air? Am I, like, live on the air right No, 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 no. We're pre-recording all this. That way, if you pick the wrong person, we, we still have time to fix it. We can help you pick the right person before it goes on the air. So, wait a minute, Ryan. Who is Christine? Uh, she's an old friend uh, who I ran into a couple weeks ago. Okay. Well, t- t- from what I heard from her, it sounds like she's more than a friend, or at least she wants to be. Did you want to send her these flowers? Maybe that'll help you get out of the friend zone. Uh, I mean... I don't think that would be a good idea because uh, I have a wife, and if she heard my voice on the air sending flowers to a different woman, no, that that would not be a good idea. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I mean, we could always do it confidentially if you wanted, like not go on the air, but still send this Christine girl the flowers just so she gets her answer. You know, that's up to you. It's not going to go on the air? No, we don't have to put it on the air. What kind of flowers are they? A dozen roses. They're very romantic. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you go ahead and send them to the steamer? That, yeah, that's fine. You're sure? You're not afraid of your wife finding out? You said it was confidential, right? Yeah, but uh, also I lie a lot. <laughs> um, your wife is actually listening to this whole thing right now. Yes, and I'd like to know why you refer to this person as the one that got away. Oh, snap! Uh, wow, you guys just screwed me. Yeah, yeah, we really did. Okay. Oh. Okay, well, not much of a shocker there, except the fact that he actually figured out what was going on and still managed to screw this entire thing up for himself. Holly, what are you thinking after hearing all of this? I mean, uh, basically that my husband isn't interested in me anymore, that I'm second place to some girl who dumped him. Yeah, and the crazy thing originally, it was the other way around, wasn't it? Like the girl we were talking about... Probably felt like second place to you, and that's why she dumped him. Man, the never-ending circle of drama.